Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. The channel that's anything and everything about Land Rovers. Yes, Roverland. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of things. Uh, one, for mainly, signs. Yes, I don't know if anybody has ever seen one of these. These are, uh, I've got two of them here. Uh, these are from BF Goodrich. I believe I got this uh, these from a retailer that uh, was selling them uh, after the promotion was over and uh, they would hang up. But anyway, BF Goodrich is one of the most popular tires used on a Land Rover. And uh, these are kind of a thick core uh, plastic. Oh, I'm knocking everything down. Look out. Everything's coming down. Studio's coming down. Hello. All right. <laughs> Live action. Here we go, folks. Live action. All right. Here we go. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, this is not really set up for big stuff here. Uh, they were uh, promotional. And uh, I actually have a large uh, poster of this as well in hot pink. And I, I, I don't have that. Well, yeah, I do. Matter of fact, uh, hold on. I'll show you that real quick here. There it is, my live action poster shot of my uh, BF Goodrich hot pink Land Rover. That one's a convertible, and uh, that hangs uh, going to be hanging on the wall. I'm kind of moving things around again. So uh, there it is. Do you have one of those? Yeah, pretty nice. Let's get back to the other posters right here, all right? Hold on. All right, there we go. We took a look, quick look at that poster. Here are those board, those uh, these uh, hang like a yield sign uh, diagonally, and uh, just a really kind of neat uh, thing. Uh, let's take a look on the backside. They they come two sided. If I can turn this around without knocking in everything and everything on the backside, what is that? Oh, that's square body Chevy. Yeah, I bet you there'd be a lot of guys interested in one of them. Nice green one on this one. Uh, so there you go. So like I said, I believe I got these from a uh, BF Goodrich tire dealer. And uh, not too bad. So those hang up in the uh, Land Rover uh, collage, I guess. Anywhere and everywhere I can go, I'll put them, right? <laughs> uh, before I get into the signs, I want to uh, shout out to my uh, new boss, uh, people may not know this, but your friend Dano works at a radio station part-time. And uh, the radio station currently got bought out by another guy. And he came across this magazine, Alloy and Grit. Now, I don't know. If, I've never heard of this before. And uh, have, have you? And uh, I thought it was just a... Uh, just a magazine, adventure magazine from, uh, you know, it, I think he got it at a clothing store or some kind of, uh, it's a retail store, paid like 10 bucks for it or something like that. And it, it was really generous that he, he saw it and uh, he's like, well, I can't not buy that for Dan. So <laughs> he did. So pretty cool. But it is actually, and I, like I said, I thought it was just an uh, an outdoor magazine just talking about a lot of just a lot of different things, you know, adventure and, and uh, you know, going on the outback and stuff like that. But this magazine is, um, I don't really believe that it's uh, really uh, as in association with uh, Land Rover, but... Uh, North America's Independent Land Rover Magazine. There you go. I'm going to have to really go in and uh, take a look and see if I can subscribe to these guys. So it is uh, um, kind of affiliated with Land Rover, but not really. But uh, just an awesome magazine. It's it's not that big, but it is. It's like a quarter inch or so magazine. Of course, there's advertisements in there and, and things like that. But cool articles clothing line from Ireland just a uh, total neat stuff that uh, you know you can uh, take a look at and browse 
Here's some Land Rover models. Boy, I'd love to have that. Boy, that is, yeah, almost real. Yeah, there you go, $189. That's a goal of mine, get one of those big, nice, detailed models. They take a look at the 2020 Evoque. So this was a kind of a current magazine that they had. Here they're talking about the P4400E, the electronic, electrical uh, Land Rover. Not another Stormtrooper, look at that. So this is kind of a cool magazine. Do you guys, uh, are you familiar with this? I, I am not, and uh, I don't know how long they have really been going. I really hadn't gotten any uh, research or anything done on that. He just gave it to me the other day, and I'm like, oh man, I gotta, I got to uh, show this to my, my friends on Roverland. And uh, there you go. I was kind of worried. I was like, hey, yeah, I've got uh, brochures and stuff like that um, from uh, all the dealerships and books, magazines and publishing magazines uh, and books that I have, Land Rovers. And I, I made a video and I haven't really um, put it together and put it out there for you because one, I was worried about um, publishing rights and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know, he thought maybe I wouldn't get into too much trouble if I did that. So hey, listen, if you want to see my collection of Land Rover books, just a part of them, uh, let me know below and I can uh, put that Land Rover video out. So uh, very, very kind of cool. I like that. Very kind of cool. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I just thought it, while we were talking about stuff, uh, cool stuff, alloy and grit got to check that out got to check that out all right we're going to move on to uh land rover metal signs these are boss signs that i've picked up throughout the years i must admit um i don't know where each and every one of these came from but uh a lot of these i think i bought up from rovers north if you don't know rovers north uh that's probably where this box came from too um they're the authorized series Land Rover parts distributor here in uh, North America, Rovers North, and you can see it's bossed. Really, really kind of cool. I like that. This here is the uh, Range Rover, a car for all seasons back when they were uh, British Leyland. But uh, yeah, so I bought some of them from uh, Rovers North out of Connecticut. And uh, then I think I bought a couple. I was able to find some at uh, uh, some uh, swap meets and stuff like that. Like this one here. I believe I bought that at a swap meet or, uh, uh, I don't know, craft fair or something outside. Here's a nice one. This is the Land Rover. This is the Series 3. And uh, no ground too tough. No job too rough. Tough for... Land Rover, British Leyland again. Uh, sorry about the glare, trying to show these off to you. But uh, really, really a kind of a neat collection. I, I don't have these up right now. Uh, kind of uh, moving around and getting things situated back in the studios here. Here's one, traditional Land Rover. This one's a pretty, I think this was the first one and kind of a pretty popular with the old Hue 166. Yeah, the first first uh, production Land Rover, the Go Anywhere vehicle. There you go. I believe I got that one from Rovers North. But, uh, oh, here's another one. Yeah, this one here, um, I'm pretty sure I bought this uh, at a flea market or out, out of, what do they call, boot sale. But, yeah, this one was all scratched up and, and it's got goobers on it. But, man, it's really nice. So, I don't... I can put this up in the bathroom and don't worry about it getting getting uh, damaged. But oh, I'd love to have the two-door Range Rover. I'd love to have one of those. That's cool. All right, here's another one. Just a couple more here, folks. Hold on, hold on. This is fun. This is exciting. <laughs> Land Rover takes the smooth with the rough. And here's a Series 2A with uh, eggs on the grill, not the later one with the... Uh, eggs on the on the wing 
But yeah, the 109 with the Safari top, excellent. I had one of those, uh, and uh, unfortunately had to sell that. It, it was in. Uh, uh, I bought it from a farmer that bought a farm, and it was sitting on there, and he gave me a good deal, and I was going to always rebuild it, but I never did, and uh, life moves on, and yeah, I had to sell it. Yes, it had the uh, six-cylinder in it. It was all taken apart because, you know, they always had problems with those, but there you go, the new six-cylinder option for the 109 range, Land Rover. Yeah. So there you go. Do you guys have a collection of metal signs in your uh, man den or the uh, Land Rover garage? All right, there's the Series 3 again. Yeah, I try to pick these up uh, anywhere and everywhere I can. You know, they're uh, not all that uh, easy to find. And uh, you know, I hate paying for shipping, so. But yeah, that's embossed and everything. Really kinda. Really kind of cool there to show you some kind of the embossing there on that. But uh, there you go, Land Rover signs. What do you have for Land Rover signs? This is what uh, I have in the collection right now. And uh, always looking to add more to them. And uh, they're, so, they're not that big, but man, it's so big in the studio here. I'm used to dealing with those little cars, you know. But uh, yeah. I like it, I like it a lot. All right, well, there you go. Let me know below. Have you heard of that Alloy Grit magazine? And uh, let me know what kind of metal signs do you have? Do you have Do you have one of these that I'm missing? I know there's a series of them, but uh, yeah, this is what I've got. I, I love to show them off. I do, I do. Put them up and show them off. All right, we're going to call it a video. Thanks a lot, folks. Remember, if you like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up. Check me out on Facebook, Roverland. And on Instagram, Roverland Channel. And as always, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.